Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel, Twin Flame Ring Connection. We can feel the moon coming, can't we, right? But this is what this video is about. So let's talk about it. This is a super blue moon, okay? It's super because it will actually appear larger in the sky when you're able to see it. Sometimes fat chance in Chicago seeing the moon because we have cloud cover sometimes. The good silver lining in that is we have had the rain that we need. We're not in a drought situation like we were for a couple of years. Knock wood. Okay, so super, this is going to appear much larger. It's going to feel closer. It's going to feel like it's pulling you. Why? The same reason as the tides. It is pulling you in the direction you need to go. What else? Blue moon. So this is just an expression. The moon does not appear blue, contrary to what um, it may sound like. And that's not to put people down, but I've seen people on comment sections saying, hey, is it going to be blue? No, it's just an expression. It means that there's a second full moon within a month or in this case, within a season. So we're calling it a blue moon. But it is the full moon of August. It's fishy. So they call it the sturgeon moon. This is when the sturgeon are going, according to the old almanacs. What does it mean for twin flames? What it means for twin flames is, this one is, is about you. The energy will focus primarily on you. You, 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 you. And you have to be aware of that because it is sort of imposing this sense that you really need to not only review like we do during the retrogrades, but really focus on you, okay? You focus on yourself, and this includes your higher self, your own higher self. We make it easy with Twin Flame Reconnection work. Easy. It's not esoteric. Basically, you're going to feel this. So this involves saying no to things and saying no to people. It's also crunch time. So no, no matter what's going on, you're going to have to be selective because this is one of those natural transitions of the year where people are feeling like the kids are going back to school or your work schedule's changing or we're going to have a change of season. Anytime you change the seasons, your own self needs you to do a little bit of a review and this is on multiple levels of yourself because you're not just a little dinky little 3d human you are a magnificent being you are a magnificent being of light and that means not just decisions but sometimes what's leading up to those decisions right what can you say no to what can you walk away from what is your higher self having you walk away from? And this is important because this is your life you're talking about. This is like the next part of your life. This is your life leading up to that wonderful togetherness that the majority of us really are here for. Okay, we're not here just to read a self-improvement book and just, you know, do do do. I know how to cook or speak a language that kind of goes with the territory. OK, because you are highly intelligent, even if we get confused sometimes. Can you set energy boundaries? This is not just like do 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 or psychic defense like you may have learned for the fourth dimension. This is actually utilizing your light body. Now, here's what this means for you in this kind of wild moon energy. OK, protect yourself self-preservation think twice about things pause okay like it reminds me of going to the beach if they have the red flags out please don't tempt fate and be like well i'm the only superhuman because i've been awakened therefore i'm up for the challenge of a riptide don't do it this energy is like riptide energy it's like pulling you along and you don't want to be dragged along behind the pickup truck OK. Can you set energy boundaries with your light body? And now here's the key. While still not withdrawing, you don't withdraw from people. Can you be tactful? Can you be peaceful? 
Can you be kind? Can you like not tell people off? Can you say, it's just not for me, or I'll have to sit this one out, or I don't think I'll go in the water. I'm sure it'll calm down, but now is not the time, right? I don't want to fight with you. I don't want to argue. There's no beef here, right? And there's a lot that's still happening because of crunch time, because we are in a time compression. That time compression is pushing and nudging twin flames toward each other. Why? Because you are the ones that channel in and funnel in that fabulous 5D love energy because things are breaking down and we need you to bolster it up. You can start this even before you're together while you're in separation. For some people, they handle this because they don't know. They haven't had kindness in their families or at their workplace where they can easily say, oh gosh, how do I tell this person? No, they're going to hate me. I'll think up a lie. I'll have to, I don't know, finagle it somehow. No, uh-uh. And then what do they do? They get cold and cold and withdrawn. And then you know what happens? Everyone else starts thinking, are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. Are you mad at me? Like we need to stop these manipulations of the mind because it's a little hesitant or afraid. So can you set energetic boundaries with your light body? Join us. It's easy. I make it as easy as pie because I'm like the laziest guy in the military. I want to cut to the chase. I want to like be like, okay, tell me high guidance. How do I get this done? How do I teach people? We have ways to do the heavy lifting. Trust me on that. And this stuff does not have to be daunting or cold because we can't afford those cold wars. Not with people we care about. Not with our twin. So join us August 19th and 20th in the evening. So it's good if you're in the West Coast, if you're in the United States, if you're in Hawaii, Alaska, if you're in Mexico, if you're in parts of South America or Korea. I miss a lot of the people that like, what have you been up to? What's going on? Join us because we laugh, we cry, we love, okay? We always, this is a safe group of people. We are doing it on Zoom. We, and here's another thing, your dreams. This is energy where your dreams will reveal and show things to you. Do you want to make the most of it? We do dream interpretation. I love that part when people describe their dreams. Dream interpret. Because... How many of you like maybe grew up uh, with television shows and they would do this and it would segue into a dream sequence, right? And you were like, ooh, I dream of Jeannie as having a dream about the astronaut guy or something silly like that, right? People are having uh, somewhat more vivid dreams in this energy. I hope you'll join us. Please look at the links below. Please let us help you with the easiest way. It's e super blue moon energy. Easy, easy. Don't let it drag you. We got ways. Okay, thanks so much. Have a good day. Hope to see you there. Bye.